welcome back once again children so in today's class in today's session we are going to do the book exercises but quickly we are going to just recap the story that is rain making in the story i have told you about a boy whose name is raja right if you can remember children let me just show you so the story is lesson number 11 rain making and the story i told you about raja who was the author of the of this story of this rain making story that we have we have heard right so uh, mr shankar pillai in his childhood days he just shared one of his memories where raja once thought to make rain as grandfather was picking up the jasmine flowers so he shook the tree and the rain drops poured from the tree so both raja as well as grandfather got wet but that made grandfather very angry to raja so raja knew that if grandfather catches him surely he is going to get beaten by grandfather so he ran and he hide himself in the paddy field still it was late evening so he just thought to take a shelter to the cow shed and he hid himself in the low when it was getting dark grandmother was worried about raja and she asked to grandfather that where is the little boy grandfather said you must search him in the house grandmother replied that the boy is nowhere in the house so grandfather he went outside and he called up raja that i he is not going to beat him and he should come back grandmother got really very angry to hear that grandfather has told uh, raja to beat him and that what made raja afraid of grandfather and now he is not coming back home and he might have run away so grandfather called the servants to search raja meanwhile all other uh, neighbors relatives and family members they also gathered there uh, to sympathize grandmother but then grandmother was getting so worried that they, she started weeping this made grandfather very angry to all the neighbors and relatives that those people have come to just pay sympathy to grandmother instead of helping grandfather or the family to search raja so by the time grandfather was a strong man and uh, he was not ready to lose hope so he just went to the temple family temple and he started making his prayer that god help me give me my child back right and then only uncle returns back home he he enters in and he got to he got to know about the entire thing that has happened the haphazard that was happening throughout so he just guessed that where raja would have uh, you know hid himself in the house so he just went to the cow shed and asked raja to come down and raja came down that's how he took raja inside the house so as the uh, in the meanwhile grandfather just finished his prayer and as he opened his eyes what did he see he saw raja standing in front of him and he just could not wait to hug raja he just took him in his arms out of joy and hugged him and he just thought that god had heard his prayers and he has returned raja back to him so it was such a nice story and emotional as well as a tricky story which was adapted from the life with grandfather written by the author keshav shankar pillai right children so we from the story we learn we understand that grandparents or parents even whatever they say to us but then remember they are the one who actually help us in times when we need help hame kabhi bhi agar koi dikkat aa jaye life mein kabhi bhi beta 
तो याद रखेंगे कि आपके पेरेंट्स आपके ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स आपके फैमिली मेंबर्स ही सिर्फ और सिर्फ आपकी मदद के लिए रहेंगे नो बडी एल्स लाइक आपने देखा है इसी स्टोरी में कि और सारे रिलेटिव्स और नेबर्स भी आए थे बट दे वर ऑल सिंपथाइजिंग ग्रैंड मदर दे वर जस्ट नॉट रेडी टू हेल्प राइट बट वेयर एल्स the family members your mother or your father or your grandparents they are actually the people who care for you right so you should also care for them now children let's do the book exercise so all of you now start the first exercise let's start the first exercise understanding the story so in this we will let get to know that how good we have understood the story Exercise A. Choose the correct option and complete the following sentences. Grandfather said that he would teach Raja a uh, lesson because Raja did not go his, uh, do his lessons. Grandfather was a teacher or grandfather was angry with Raja. Option number C. This is the correct one. Grandmother was angry with grandfather because he had not gathered the jasmine flowers. He had said he would beat Raja. Or he had let Raja play in the paddy field. What is the right option, children? Number B. He had said he would beat Raja. Now, number three. The person who guessed where Raja was hiding was uncle, right? Not the servant, not the neighbor, but the uncle, right? Now, exercise number B, children. This one. Here are some events that occurred in the story. Rearrange the events in the order that they occurred. Grandfather was sitting in the veranda and saying his prayers. Grandfather called the servants and asked them to look for Raja. Grandfather looked angrily at Raja and shouted at him. Grandfather was picking flowers under the sandalwood tree. Grandfather hugged Raja and said that God had heard his prayers. So, which would be the right one, children? Here, yeah, please make a correction, children. This should not be... Okay, I will just make a correction. Just a second, children. Okay, I'm gonna make a correction. This should not be number one. In fact, this should be number two. So, which incident occurred first? Can you just tell me, children? Can you just tell me which is the first incident that occurred here? The first one is this one number four grandfather was picking up flowers under the sandalwood tree so this should be marked as number one right children after this what happened children next this one grandfather looked angrily at raja and shouted at him so this should be marked as number two right now after this what happened grandfather called the servants and asked them to look for raja and then after that, we can arrange this sentence. Grandfather was sitting in the veranda and saying his prayers. And after this, we can say the last one. Grandfather hugged Raja and said that God had heard his prayers. So, this way you are going to arrange it, right? Now, exercise number C is the question answer. This we are going to do it in our notebook. So, let's move, proceed further. Now, we are going to do some, we are going to learn some grammar topics. So, the topic here is question words, right? You all are aware of these question words, children. You know that how the question words are used. And there are different question words for different purposes, right? Grandmother asks grandfather, where is the little one, right? So, here you can see the question word that is where is used to ask about the place. Kaha hai wo bacha, chota bacha. So where means kaha, place. Note the first question, uh, first word in the question. Where? The word asks a question regarding place. Here is a list of some other question words along with their use. When is regarded with, regarding time. Okay. Like, when is used to show time when i'm when the when any question starts with the question word when it means it is related to time like for an example when will the bell ring kab bell ring hogi kab hum school jayenge when i will go to school or when we will when uh, it will be a holiday so kab in, means i am asking about time 
what means to get informed about something right to get an information about something like what is your name what is this thing what are you doing so when i need any information i can use the question word that is what which is in regarding to choice right if there is a choice then which question word come into the contact that is like an example which umbrella do you want to buy so when i have a choice when there are many umbrellas and i'm uh, i'm asking someone that which one do you want so the question word which comes into this frame right children now next one is who regarding a person so when who is used in regards to a person right when i'm asking anything about a person then who is used like who has taken my pencil kisne mera pen liya hai kisne who is who has come to our house who is going to the park right how is used in manner of an action how that thing has happened in what action in sorry in what manner the action occurred like how do you make a sandwich right aapne sandwich kaise aapne banaya how how you do this how you make uh, how you complete your work how did you do this right so as many question words begin with wh they are also called as wh words right children remember this they are also called as wh words complete the questions given below with the appropriate question word now we have already uh, we got to know about the different uses of all these question words so we are going to apply these question words in the right blank okay so the question words like what who were which and how what means kya who means kon where means kaha which means kaun sa this is generally which is used for animals or for thing how means kaise right like number 1 dash is your birthday so what we say is here it is related to time so i am asking that kab aapka birthday so we will say when is your birthday dash gift do you want for your birthday kaun sa main pooch rahi hu kya kaun sa chahiye aapko so what gift do you want on your birthday right or which bhi chal sakta hai agar main options de rahi hu if i am giving option which gift do you want on your birthday watch or this but kyunki yahan pe aisa specific koi ye nahi bataya gift ka name so that's why hum which ko use na karke what use karenge ki tumhe kya gift chahiye right number 3 dash will you have your party so kahan tum apna party karna chahte ho so it means we can say where will you have your party number 4 dash will send out the invitations who will send out the invitation kon invitation bhejega number 5 dash will your friends reach the place how will your friends reach the place right now number b abni works at an airport here are some answers that she gives regularly write the questions use the question words given in the brackets now see the answers are given children you have to frame question through it how to do that children already in grammar when you were doing sentences that topic there you have learned that how to frame interrogative sentence right so this is how you are you are going to apply those uh, criteria that were taught to you and thus in this uh, particular thing itself right like for an example the next flight leaves in 2 hours so you have to start the question with when so when the next flight leave right when does the next flight leave we can say kab next flight jayegi number 2 the nearest restaurant is on the first floor so we have to start the question where where is the nearest restaurant so the answer can be the nearest restaurant is on the first floor number 3 i will issue your boarding pass and the question should start with who so i may ask question like who will issue our boarding pass so the answer can be i will issue your boarding pass number 4 you have to write your name and your designation on the luggage tag what so what do i have to write on the luggage tag and the answer can be you have to write your name on the destination uh, and the destination on the luggage tag right now next one 
the earliest flight to mumbai is the jet airways flight so let's start the question with which which is the earliest flight to mumbai there will be an announcement to let you know when you flight will you and your flight will leave and you should start the question with how so the question can be how will we know that uh, how will we know when our flight will leave right so this is how to frame questions now one more very very important topic we are going to learn that is punctuation children it is very very important why children because i'll tell you in a sentence if uh, there is no punctuation you won't be able to make out uh, the difference that who is narrating someone or it's a context or uh, where to take pause or where the sentence is getting complete right so punctuation help us to make our writing better and at the same time for a reader it's very easy to read the sentences right like for an example nothing has happened to the boy in this sentence you can see this children that something is stated right ek statement diya gaya hai kuch bataya ja raha hai so this kind of sentence is an assertive or uh, imperative sentence you may say it's an assertive sentence when a sentence is asserting something or stating something it means that it's an it's a statement right and such sentences in this in such sentences we use the punctuation mark full stop right now look at the next sentence where is the little one so this sentence is an interrogative sentence because this sentence is asking us something ye humse kuch pooch raha hai so when any sentence ask any question then we have to put a question mark at the end which punctuation question mark right so now read the following sentences and add full stop or question mark i know where the party will take place so this is a statement we are going to put a full stop where will the party take place now this is a question right so it's a interrogative sentence we are going to put a question mark will pooja sing along with jimmy again this this sentence is asking question it's a interrogative sentence we will put a question mark pooja will sing along with jimmy so this sentence is a stating us something it's asserting something so it we will put full stop who will eat the cake question mark all of us will eat it so it's giving the answer full stop right now word wise we are going to do this idioms you already know jise hum muhavre ek tarah se hum kehte hain hindi mein hai na ma apne muhavre hindi mein padhe hi honge to use hum english mein idioms kehte hain idioms or idioms right look at the words in red in the following sentence i heard grandfather shouted that he would teach me a lesson so why do we use idioms children idioms are basically used to give uh, to speak uh, more in less words theek hai kam shabdon mein bahut sari baaton ko bol dena bahut kuch ko kam shabdon mein hi bata dena uske liye hum idioms use karte hain idioms use karte hain and they make the writing look better wo aur zyada interesting aur use bahut aur ek edge dete hain right so let's read about them the word teaches lesson in an idiom okay and idiom is a group of word which has a different meaning from the meaning of the individual or separate words in the example the idiom teach a lesson means to punish can you understand children see here this idiom that is teach me a lesson means actually the meaning is to punish someone right uh, so but if we take the meaning of each word it would mean to teach someone like a teacher teaches you whereas the meaning is very different from the words right so here are some idioms based on the parts of our body match them to their meaning this is very important children this may come in your annual examination too okay so do learn it nicely do not uh, skip this that uh, the book exercises are not going to come surely you are going to get the book exercises in your uh, annual exam so keep your fingers crossed what does that mean means to wish someone good luck right see i to i see i to i means to agree with someone about something 
when I agree with someone uh, about something, I say that see eye to eye. We see eye to eye, right? Point the finger. Point the finger means to blame someone for something bad. When something uh, wrong has occurred and we blame on someone, so then we say that he's pointing finger on me, right? Number four, keep an eye on. Keep an eye on means to take care of someone. He's like, we say that uh, dog keeps an eye on the farmhouse or uh, he is keeping eye on me. It means to take care of someone. It can be used in positive as well as in negative sense, both. Lend a hand means to help someone do something. Kisi ko madad karna, to help someone. Kisi ko madad kar, haat badhana, right? Now, number B. Now, use the items to complete the sentence given below. You may need to make some changes. One has been done for you. Virain is very naughty. He always point the finger at him whenever someone does any mischief. वो हमेशा किसी की तरफ उंगली दिखाता है और पॉइंट आउट करता है मतलब किसी को मिस्टीवियस हरकत करता है अगर किसी ने मिस्टीवियस हरकत की हो तो नंबर टू द कोच इज सेलेक्टिंग प्लेयर्स फ्रॉम द क्रिकेट टीम टुडे आई विल डैश दैट आई एम सेलेक्टेड तो मैं गुड लक अपना चाहता हूँ या चाहती हूँ कि मैं भी सिलेक्ट हो जाऊँ तो उसके लिए मैं क्या कहूँगी आई विल कीप माई फिंगर्स क्रॉस्ड राइट वेन माई पेरेंट्स गो आउट दे आस्क माई आंट टू डैश मी जब मेरे पेरेंट्स बाहर जाते हैं तो वो मेरे आंट को क्या बोलते हैं मेरा ध्यान रखने के लिए सो मींस टू कीप एन आई ऑन मी इफ यू आर फ्री प्लीज डैश टू सलीम इन पुटिंग अवे द बॉक्स सो मींस टू लेंड अ हैंड मदद करने के लिए सलीम को अगर तुम फ्री हो तो सलीम को हेल्प करने में मदद करो फरहान इज अ गुड फ्रेंड एंड वी डैश ऑन बोथ मोस्ट थिंग फरहान मेरा अच्छा दोस्त है और मैं हम लोग जनरली एक दूसरे से सहमत होते हैं अक्सर सभी चीजों में सो मीन्स सी आई टू आई राइट नाउ लेट्स लिसन दिस वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू चिल्ड्रन एंड दिस वन वी कैन स्किप दिस लेट्स लिसन दिस वी दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल नॉट डू इट टाइम टू टॉक सो दिस एक्सरसाइज आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू एज अ होमवर्क चिल्ड्रन यू कैन डू दिस एज अ होमवर्क वट यू आर सपोज टू डू इन द स्टोरी रेन मेकिंग राजा लाइक्स टू प्ले इन ऑडियो ट्रिक्स ही डिज नॉट लाइक टू सी हिज ग्रैंड मदर क्राइम ऑल ऑफ एस लाइक समथिंग एंड डिज लाइक अदर थिंग सो वर्क इन पेयर्स टेक टर्न टू यूज द सजेशन गिवन बिलो एंड टेल योर पार्टनर अबाउट योर लाइक्स एंड डिज लाइक्स एड टू सेंटेंसेज ऑफ योर ओन सो यू कैन राइट अबाउट योर सेल्फ दैट वॉट थिंग्स यू लाइक एंड वॉट यू डोंट लाइक आई लाइक टू प्ले यू कैन राइट योर फेवरेट स्पोर्ट but i don't like to like playing what like anything which you don't like to play i like to eat whatever you like and you can write on the other side which you don't like to eat which book you want to read like to read or which you don't like to read and what you like to do and you what you don't like to do so you will write two sentences about that okay now write when in this children there is a diary writing so we will not do diary writing because it is not there in your syllabus and you are not aware of the diary writing so as of now i am not going to do this okay children so we can escape diary writing right now for time being when you will go to higher classes when you learn diary writing then you can start doing it okay now after this children this is your class work now as a homework i'm going to give uh, a homework as uh, the notebook work okay so lesson 11 rain making this you are going to do it in your english a notebook children and i'm going to upload all these notebook exercises in your school app so please do complete it today itself okay or maximum by tomorrow and do learn it children because we don't have much time left so please do learn it okay so first in your a notebook write date and homework and you can draw a picture related to the story okay in the next page then you will write a heading a lesson 11 rain making new words so we are going to write down 20 new words that is i will read out one by one naughty jasmine rain drop sandalwood strength soaked paddy field cow shed shelter veranda weeping courtyard neighbors sympathize prayer silent guest 
hugged, direction and relatives, right? So these are the 20 words that you will write it down. After this, you are going to write down word meanings, okay? So number one, jasmine. Jasmine means it's a white flower with a lovely scent. Soaked means became wet. Locked means a room directly below the roof of a building, under the roof, okay? So a room that is under the roof, below the roof of any building is called loaf. Teach me a lesson means to punish. Strong will means strong-minded. Neighbors means people living next door. People who are living next door or near, uh, our, do near our house, they are called neighbors. Okay, number seven, paddy field means a field in which rice is grown. Okay, after this we are going to do fill in the blank. Number one, the leaves of the tree were full of raindrops. Grandfather turned on me with an angry look. Raja went to the cow shed and took shelter in the loft. Grandfather started walking up and down the courtyard. Dash had just finished his prayer. Who just finished the prayer? Grandfather. Okay, now in exercise D, who said to whom? Where is the little one? Who said this children? Grandmother asked grandfather. Number two, you look for him in the house. Who said this? Grandfather said it to grandmother. Number three, give me my child. I want him now. I cannot rest. Wait. Who said this? Grandfather prayed this to the God. Right? Now, next is make sentence. So, you are going to make sentences using these five words. That is shar, prayer, weeping, neighbors and hug. I have, though I have already made one, one uh, each, but you try to do it on your own children, okay, instead of copying the same. Now, number F, question answers. How did Raja make it rain? Raja shook the sandalwood tree with all his strength. The leaves were full of raindrops, which fell in a shower, making it look like Raja had made it rain. Question two, where did Raja hid, hide first? Raja first hid in the paddy field. So the past tense of hide is hid. Right children, don't get confused. You may might uh, also use a, a E here, but then that would be wrong children. Always remember in question when we are asking uh, when we use did. So with that we use the first form of verb. But whereas when we give answer, we generally give it in the past form that is we use the second form of verb so the second form of verb of verb of hide is hid right now number three why did raja change his hiding place where did he go when it became dark in the evening raja changed his hiding place he hid in the loft of the cow shed next to the house Number four, where was the neighbors doing? What were the neighbors doing? The neighbors were offering their sympathy to Raja's grandmother. Number five, why did grandmother, uh, sorry, grandfather get angry with them? Grandfather got angry because the neighbors had come for sympathize instead of searching him out. Number six, why did grandfather believe that God had heard his prayer? Answer is, grandfather prayed to God to help him and give him back his grandson. But when he opened his eyes, he saw Raja in front of him. That is why he felt that God had heard his prayer. Right, children? So, this is the notebook work that you are going to do it as a homework, children. And uh, you are supposed to complete your work, children, by today itself. Please do complete it and so that you get enough time to learn the exercises. Right children? Hope that this class was worth enough for you. You and all your concepts related to grammar that are there in this uh, book as a book exercise. It must have got solved. You have got the uh, doubts clear children. If still any doubt left, you can ask me during the uh, uh, WhatsApp during the you know when the WhatsApp group gets open so you can ask your queries if anything is left and yes children start preparing for your annual exams right so then we are going to meet again soon till then take care bye for now